All right. So a lot of people have a an AR-15, right? Just a typical 16-inch carbine. Um, this is what I use, uh, pretty much like a bench gun, uh, shooting out 100 yards, no problem with the 4 to 16 scope. And it's a, it's a hefty bastard. It's pretty damn heavy. The GL mag buttstock. I keep a 20 round mag in it, plus a 30 round mag, and all the other bullshit I got on it. Uh, it's a fun gun to shoot. Standing up and shooting it, uh, I'm pretty much hit and miss pretty much everywhere because it's so heavy. So uh, I wanted to make a short barreled rifle, but having to wait a year for tax stamp and can't take it out of state without filling that paperwork and then can't take it back into state without filling that paperwork. That didn't sound very fun to me, so I made a AR pistol. It's a ten and a half inch. I got the upper, uh, complete upper with the nickel bore on bolt carrier group, uh, CAC Industries, flash can, diamond head rail, everything except for the charging handle. This was a uh, this was on my original carbine build. I got this for $601 after shipping uh, from Runner Runner Guns. And this is a Code Red Firearms Lower. It's got a nice little finish to it. I like it. So, uh, got that and put a DPMS lower parts kit in it. Um, the, I'm not sure the brand, but it's a uh, SB15 buffer tube. It's like maybe two and a half inches longer and it has like a little little stop back here for the a carbine link spring and the SB15 brace. There we go. It's a lot lighter. I can just hold it with one hand, no big deal. And haven't shot it yet. Uh, should be should be fun. Clear. A uh, couple things I was kind of interested about. I'm not sure if it's the, the coating that they put on this uh, nickel boron uh, bulk carrier group, or when they test fired it, there was some metal shavings or gunk in all the lugs, but it wouldn't chamber around just on, uh, just on, just on, you know testing the functionality before I took it out to the range. But it wouldn't chamber around. Uh, I cleaned the lugs like three times and then it started working pretty good. Then I put some lube on it and it seems like it'll work pretty well now. I wish, wish that they would clean the damn thing before they mail it to you. It doesn't take but two minutes, but you know, if you're getting something new, if they test fire it to make sure it works, I'd like to get it clean. Alright, a parts rundown on price. Uh, complete upper minus the uh, charging handle and the optic was 601. I believe this black rain nickel boron charging handle, which I painted green on there, I think that was in the 30s or 40s. Uh, Strike fire from Vortex was 128 shipped. The brace itself, um, if I was doing the brace and the tube, it would have been 175 dollars, but I got the brace for uh, 108, and I got the tube for 36. I had the uh, this right now has the spring, and I got from Damage Industries, I believe who it was. It's the chrome silicon, and then I got just a regular carbine buffer that was like nine dollars. Um, ATI single point attachment that was 12 bucks. The lower was 140 even, and the parts kit I, I overpaid. It was 60, but it was local, and uh, I got the lower and the parts kit locally to you know support your your local gun shop. Um, so that was like a little over 200, like two something, 217 I think after tax. Um, tactical link, uh, their battery assist lever. That was 18 dollars shipped. Uh, Strike Industry. I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah, Strike Industries Trigger Guard. That was pretty close to 15. I think that might have been a little less. And a Spikes Tactical Pistol Grip. It's a little too big. I think I'm gonna go with a Magpul, even though I don't 
like Magpul because everybody has Magpul. It's a little smaller. Plus, I want something for storage to hold another battery for the optic. But this was $13, I think, on eBay. So all in all, you're looking at about a hair under 1100 bucks. Um, for this upper, it was $100 off. They're running a special through the end of July. That's why I'm putting this video out right now, because I saved $100 on this upper, getting it uh, on their special. It would have been $701. And they sent me a free shirt. I'm not much of a t-shirt fan. There you go. There's the front of it right here. But I'll, I'll probably wear it. If not, my son will wear it. I believe Oklahoma did get the uh, the law passed that you know you can have a NRA shirt or do this bullshit and not get in trouble in the schools. I think I think that passed. I'll have to look into it, but uh. I got some aluminum flip-up sights, front and rear A2 style. Those are on the way. Should be here by Thursday. I think they were 25 bucks. Um, really nothing else to say. Watch the damn movie. My son's watching a movie. Apparently he's playing something else. Uh, yeah, I'll get this out hopefully Saturday. Going over to uh, Jeremy's house and take this out there, and I'll let you know how this runs. A friend of mine, James, he's building an AR. Uh, he went through Runner Runner guns on his upper, and I think he saved like 60 bucks. It's just a standard 16 inch with a Magpul uh, forearm. Yeah, and uh, I think all in all, he's going to have about 700 into it, if that. And that's, he's got a Vortex Spark, uh, I'm going to be putting together his lower, he's got Magpul Furniture, uh, Bravo Company Charging Handle, a whole bunch of other goodies, I'll be putting that on for him. And let me measure these real quick. Alright, on my standard 16 inch carbine, I run it on the 5th of the 6th notch or whatever the hell. Yeah, he has got one more notch before it's fully extended. But... It's sitting at exactly 36 inches, that's 3 foot. And the pistol sitting at 29 and a half. So it's quite a bit shorter and definitely lighter. So, get this video up and uh, wish me luck on Saturday.